Hi guys and welcome to another random platypus review. Um, this time I shall be reviewing uh, one of my purchases from Salute 2019 which is this exact bag. I haven't done anything to them, like taken anything out, put it, put, it, put it in or put it in a new bag. This is a bag of bits from Anvil Industries which is, um, they sold as £10 packs of miscast bits. Uh, so any of you that know Anvil will know that this is quite a lot of stuff. Normally their parts range in price of the sets. Um, I think some of them can be as little as like four pounds, others more. But hopefully you can see from the from the size there that there's quite a few parts. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit, or zoom out rather. Yeah, so you can see there's quite a bit. Um, some of it isn't really that badly miscast at all, I mean, and isn't brilliantly showing up well. So hopefully you can do it with a bit more. Yeah. So you can see, I mean that's pretty nicely cast. I've got almost ten perfect Bergens or packs, pack packs, to go with troops, uh, or to use to. Um, detailed terrain, all the size of vehicles and stuff. These these could be anything from modern to sci-fi by the looks of things. Perhaps a little bit um, sort of, well yeah, I was going to say not so modern, but I think perhaps 70s onwards. Somebody who knows military gear will be able to tell me better. But yeah, they, I mean that alone, that's probably about four, four or five pounds normally from them. I'll have a look. Um, in a little bit. In fact, I should be able to have a look. Have I not got them up? No. I haven't got them up. So I'll have to have a look later and then maybe put in the links below. But as far as I'm aware, they don't have these sets on their, or these packs on their, their website or web shop. These were just like a salute sort of bargain deal. They went very, very quickly. I went over just after opening and nearly everybody that was queuing up was buying at least one pack. And you can kind of see why. It's really nice. The one thing I will say about this is that if you haven't bought a lot of Anvil stuff and you're a bit sh unsure about whether things will work or not, it's it's nice to do it like this. I mean, I'll try and get a better picture of these as well. But these are these are almost um, Deathcore Krieg like in their look, of, of, although very different in terms of the actual mask used. Some of these things I'm not likely to necessarily use as such um, on, on a lot of figures, like those heads aren't something I'd want to use. But for example, I was looking at some of their pumpkin heads uh, for conversions and stuff. Now I think these are the marine ones, which are perhaps a little bigger than the ones I was looking at for their regiment sprues and stuff. So, but it's still quite cool and it might end up being used on either a marine or something else. The the other bit underneath it is just a plain ordinary pumpkin. You can see there this one's got a slight miscast and obviously this is only one head whereas I think there's probably normally several in a, in a set. Now that little miscast is actually an air bubble where an air bubble was. Now those of you that are sort of like me, would look at that and go, oh, okay, it could be where a maggot's eating it or something. You could do, model a little maggot coming out of that. Or if you wanted it as a whole pumpkin, you would just fill it in with a bit of green stuff. It's not really a big deal. It's not like highly detailed and hard to re-sculpt over that. Now, then I've got several examples of different leg sets. Now again, there are leg sets in here that I'd probably not normally just go out and buy. So to have them to look at, um, and go, yeah, you know what, actually I would buy some of those. It's kind of like really useful. So I think what I've got here, and this is definitely the regiments, but it's not really saying which ones. I think they're the near near future sort of sci-fi ones. And again, you can see there's three of them. I don't know how many there are normally. And if you look at the one on the far left, there's a tiny little air bubble on his foot at the front. Now, okay, it's kind of big when you look at the miniature, but it's not that big or in a, in a difficult place to say fill with green stuff again. So that'll be my next thing with those. This this set, the only thing that I can see is miscast is actually, I don't think there's a miscast on the foot. 
I can see is literally just the sprue. So whether there was a leg next to it and it didn't come out well, I don't know. But to me, there's nothing particularly wrong with that and I could quite happily use it. So no fixing need on that one. Uh, and I've got some of these, I've got a few of these to be fair. I think there's some more trench coat ones. Yeah, there's another one here. So trench coat, but you know what I mean. And I believe that's another similar looking one. So I've got four of those, possibly more. I haven't really dug around these a lot yet. I seem to have more than the, the modern ones, which is cool because I can find some torsos to go with those. Um, See, so yeah, I've got four of those. I'm debating whether I could use those with the, the Gene Skeet Occult torsos that I've got a spare left over from... Well, I bought them as a set thinking I could find some legs to stick them on, to be honest. And I happened to get some. There's more of... More of the, the helms with gas masks. There you go. Slung them over there. Um, so yeah, then there's some more of the sort of the modern ones which I think we've looked at, or very similar looking to the mod modern ones anyway. The stuff like the knee pads and things on could work out to be SWAT or something similar. Uh, then I've got some like near future kind of like SWAT heads. Ops Corps isn't there. So, yeah, they've got goggles, uh, a couple of them have got radio pieces, a couple of them have got night vision and that kind of like infrared kind of stuff. So, you can see by this point, I'm really starting to rack up um, what I've got in this, this bits bag. And yet, at the same time, so I might like flick on and off when I touch it by accident, um, quite a few parts easily my money's worth so again this one you can see there's the flash on it um, but that's not going to be difficult for somebody that's a experienced model that's not going to be difficult um, again these ones have got like slightly longer um, like from a, a, a trench coat or something similar around the legs um, but with slightly different more padded feet I think they're from their one of the kind of like the legs that they've got from one of their ranges of troopers for their game again i put a couple more regiment legs that are like that with with the old uh, knee pads on things there's a few of those some of the armored legs more heavily armored legs now the one thing to note is there's no torsos in this one so i think this is kind of a deliberate thing in that they wanted to perhaps not give people too many complete figures in a, in, in a bag which again i totally understand and I have no qualms with. Uh, the closest I've got is this one which is very nearly a full figure. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's like a um, tech priest. This figure and normally comes with, if you look on the sides here, there's some slots which I think have like automated arms go on to uh, and the rest of it but you know, you could easily convert that into being something, whatever you wanted, it's like an armoured exosuit of some sort, an officer, anything like that, so that's useful. I also happened to get this, which I think is absolutely superb. I'd not seen this before. Um, it's just it's just brilliant. It's got a an ammo case on the end with extra rounds in it, some extra rounds ready to, to be loaded, a couple of spent rounds on it as well. Um, and then the, the rest of the gun, like the slider at the back, and the... I mean, I don't know all the technical terms, but the, the part that shuts the round in the chamber, um, ready to fire. So that, again, is quite useful. Obviously, it hasn't got the carriage, so I could go and buy the carriage, or I could scratch build one, or I could find something else to put it on. But again, that in its own right is a heavy weapon, an artillery piece, a field piece, and um, yeah, finding a crew might be quite hard, but it's, it's a piece I can use for terrain or to add a crew to it at a later date. But again, you, you know, it's a bargain really. Got some kind of cultisty heads. They're gas masked and goggled, so again, Mechanicus-like almost. 
uh, and it says, is it bullet mask? Yeah, bullet masks. So these have got, they're like those kind of crazy swap masks which really hide the identity of the person. But a couple of them have got um, respirators on them. This one has, on the end here, if you can see, got a little air bubble. But again, shouldn't be too hard to replicate the one next to it. Or I suppose you could just cut it off and put a little tiny one like on that side. But yeah, either way, it shouldn't be too hard to just correct that. Then I've got a couple of um, properly swap head type things. One with like a skull mask on, which is on the end. Let's see if we can get this a bit closer to the light so you can see. No, maybe not. Yeah, sorry about the sight, the, the um, not amazingly brilliant light. Um, it's a bit dark in here tonight. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. Might help if I put it like this. Let's have a go. So, uh, this is more traditional SWAT. That's better, isn't it? Doesn't help, these are kind of a grey that comes up almost white on the screen. Uh, another one of, oh, come on, focus. Another one of those kind of um, death Corey kind of helmets. Some more Ops Core. I mean, there's more heads here than I can use, really, to be honest with you. I don't think some of the styles, like, like I've got one of these, which is, it's like a, and the big British fluffy hats almost with a gas mask on it. That probably won't be so useful to me, if I'm honest. I can't see myself using that. I also do have randomly um, parts of a gun carriage, but I only have the two legs. So again, I could use that on the, the artillery piece I've got. Uh, some chain glaives, or chainsaw glaives. I was thinking about maybe switching the hands out and using those for Necromunda. Uh, some buried heads. Again, I can't work out, there's a bit of flash on them, but it's nothing, I, sp I know some of the people that sell these products are like perfectionists and they don't like to sell them with a bit of the flash on them or anything. But why don't they sell these bags more regularly? Because that's hardly any flash on that. And I would actually, having looked at these and got had these in my hand, I would recommend these to people, even though the flash is there. You can see the detail on those heads. They're really nice. And I love the fact that the one on the end, this dude over here, he's got no hat, well no beret, but the beret is on separately, so you can have him with a beret if you want, have him without, or you, I guess you could put the beret somewhere else. So it's really quite useful. Um, then I have a, okay, there's another lot of legs, another lot of those those modern legs. Or sci-fi legs. I've got a complete sprue of like the Laz weapons. Again, I can't really see where there's a miscast involved in that. So they've probably got, they've probably spotted something that my eyes can't spot. So you've got magazine pouches, in uh, magazines and pouches, I think. Um, and one rifle, one rifle, obviously, if you, if you look at the end there, it's got the, the grip and stock because the others are designed to fit. And if you look, there's a little where if you look at this end, can you see that just there with my wiggling my finger? That little n nub fits into their arms, and I'll show you what I mean because I've got a fair few arms. Uh, so let me pick out a set which haven't got an arm a gun already in it. Right, so for the for example these, these are clothed arms. Can you see the little notch in the in the trigger hand? So if I show you like that, and then I sh that is where those guns then fit into, if that makes sense. I don't know if I can do it whilst they're on the sprue. But it goes it goes a bit like clunk, like that. So I've got a few of those sets of arms. They all seem to be the same sort of style. They're all clothed arms. Now, in, in many respects, 
I am probably only a few torsos away from being able to build some troopers with this. Um, this one is a much more miscast in terms of you can see the flash. But again, there's actually no problem with the arms themselves once you clean the flash up, so easy enough. Then there are some arms which have got the weapons already attached. Again, you can see there's some flash on that one, but it shouldn't be too hard to clean up. It's very, very thin. In fact, it's papery thin. And if I go, yeah, you can see that. I might even be able to just, yep, take it away. So yeah, um, obviously you take those apart and then you place them on the figure to have them gun resting. It's just how it's cast up. I've got a random, this is gonna, yeah, bolt pistol looking like thing. Gun. Some more heads. Yeah, these I think it's the Council Marine heads. It's going to say on that, but it's obviously got the only the last bit of that in there, so it's not the whole sprue. And I'm guessing for this one, it's probably because they've done a a build. Because they, if you look on their website, they often have these um, like converters corner, and I, I guess they've either built some for a game or uh, for something like that. Some promo pictures or something and these are the ones that are left over or the other half was horribly miscast and they just cut it off um, either way really cool then these which at first glance don't look like much but I believe they are like ACOG sights or laser sights for the guns they sit on the top so again brilliant and I've got one two more already ready last gun arms that one's I think it's fallen off there basically but yeah so two more um, weapon arms pairs that can go straight onto a figure and then this one's got a shotgun now I've ordered some of their bear arms because I'm going to be doing some conversion soon so we'll see how that goes and I'll show the results now lastly, they've got some uh, hands and pistols, so what are they saying on, on these Archon pistols? So there's a couple that are holstered, there's a couple that have got hands to go on them, and obviously I think one of the, maybe the pistol I had a moment ago is one of these as well. Um, but they've got the same thing where the, the pistols slot into the top of their hands. And the nice thing about them, two right hands, two left hands. So bang on, really nice. And the last thing I've got, which again, I'm not sure how useful, I shall find it. It's not entirely, it's not complete. So again, I don't know whether, perhaps they put it in a batch and they snapped off. Uh, I don't know, or they used them, because you can see the stubs where they were, but top knots. Um, Again, not entirely sure how how much or how useful they'll be for me. But as you can see, for 10 quid, what a bargain. A huge, huge, huge pile of, of goodies. And that'll keep me going for a while. It's really stopped up my bits box. So yeah, that was the, the first thing I wanted to review for my salute haul. And um, I shall be back soon with another video. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye now.